faculty have the ability to control who can gain access to the content within their course inside of CI Learn. You do this by setting guest access and then controlling which content areas of your course that guests have access to. To set guest access, all you need to do is log into your course in CI Learn and make sure that the edit mode is set to on. Then scroll down on the left hand side under the course management section and click on the link for customization. You'll then click on the link for guest and observer access. Under item one, allow guest access, change the radio button from no to yes, and then click the submit button. Now that guests are able to access your course, you next need to set what tools or content areas that guests are able to see. You do this by again scrolling down on the left hand side under the course management section under customization and click on the link for tool availability. In the tool availability section, you see all of the tools that are available to you inside of your Blackboard course. The second column visible to guests is the one that we need to control. Not all tools are eligible to be viewed by guests for a variety of different reasons. If there's a particular tool that you're looking to have enabled for guests, you may need to contact the help desk to find out whether or not we can make that tool available to you or not. To make a tool available, you simply find the tool that you're looking for, in this case, the announcement section of your course, and you simply check the box for visible to guests. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit further, and you'll find that another item that's commonly used would be the calendar. If you're using the calendar to keep track of items within your course, and you want guests to be able to see those items, check the box, for visible to guest. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit further and find the section for content area. Now the content area is the most important one for you to turn on if you want guests to access any of the left hand menu items inside of your course. We'll go over to the column for visible to guests and check the box for content area. There are many other options that you can choose to allow guests to access within your course. We're not gonna go into them here at this point. Once you've made all of your selections though, Go ahead and scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page and click the submit button. You've now set the controls for guests to be able to access your course. Now there's one more level of configuration that you can do, and that is by clicking on the home link for your course, you can go into an individual content area and move your mouse over to the right hand side to click the drop down menu for that content area. You can then see from the drop down menu, you have an option to deny guests from a particular content area within your course. I'll go ahead and check this option here inside of my course so I can deny access to guests within this particular content area. Now, let's look and see how guests would actually access our course. What you wanna do is come back up and click on the link for the home button for your course in the upper left hand corner. Then. Come up to your URL field, click on the URL, and copy it to your clipboard using either Command or Control C. I'm going to go ahead and change browsers over to the Chrome browser where I'm logged in as a student user. If this was your actual course, you would simply email that URL that you've copied to your clipboard to the student that you wanted to give guest access to. In this case, since I have the link already copied to my clipboard, and I see that under the My Courses section for this particular user, I do not have access to the course I'm interested in, and I'll simply press Command or Control V on my keyboard to paste that link into place. Now I'll go ahead and hit Return on my keyboard, Blackboard refreshes, and I can access the course as a guest. Now when I come down here to the left-hand side, I can see that I can click on the information section for the course, and I can see the general information, such as the course syllabus. I can click on the document for the syllabus, and I can access that information. However, remember we changed the week one content area to be unavailable to guests. So I'll come over here and I'll click on week one, and I see that my access is denied. Let me go ahead and jump back over to my primary browser, and I'll come back here to the week one folder, click the drop down menu, and set the setting to permit guests to view that area. Now I'll jump back to my guest user account, go back to the course homepage, and now I'll click on week one. Now since the faculty member has given me access to see this content, I can see the lecture slides and the thesis paper and additional information related to the course. Students that are going to be taking your course and getting credit need to register for your course through enrollment services in order to show up in your gradebook and to be able to complete assignments inside of your course. So guest access is not a replacement for that, but it will help a student who's in the process of enrolling for your course, but may be tied up in waiting for paperwork to be filed and systems to update.